So Fira uses a hybrid consensus model where we have mining and we also have another sort of a layer on top of it which is master nodes. And master nodes actually do perform an important function. The first being that you know proof of work currencies, while you know great for distribution from a security standpoint, especially for um, for coins that are mined by you know GPUs or CPUs, they are a lot more susceptible to what we call fifty one percent mining attacks. And what that means is that if someone manages to control 51% of the computing power, they have effective control of the network being able to say which transactions go in and which transactions are excluded. Now, um, why this is a bigger problem for commodity, like in the consumer hardware mining by CPUs and GPUs is that people can rent this hash rate, attack a particular mm. cryptocurrency, uh, and even once that cryptocurrency is attacked, the value of the CPUs and GPUs do not decline. You still can use them. You still uh, have a purpose for them and you can resell them. There is no adverse you know, consequence to attacking a coin beyond pure profit. When compared to ASICs, uh, which are like dedicated machines, like, okay, this machine can only mine Bitcoin, right? If I were to attack Bitcoin and, you know, let's say Bitcoin price crashes, uh, the the my machine also becomes you know less valuable as well so i'm also kind of shooting myself in the foot and master notes uh, kind of like give this type of incentive while making the mining still remain to be you know mineable by consumer hardware right and how it does this is that with 1000 ferro right anyone can spin up a special note called a ferro master note and this master notes actually uh, prevent 51% mining attacks uh, from happening and it also provides instant block finality so as you know if you with other proof of work block currencies or even other blockchains generally when you do a deposit when you make a transaction you are asked to wait okay let's wait for two confirmations three confirmations four confirmations and the reason is that you know because if you do not wait enough there is the, the, the chance that these uh, transactions might be reorganized or you know, not included in the block. And that to me actually is a drawback, right? When you make the payment, the moment it is confirmed, you should be able to say, all right, you know, that's it. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it being reversed and stuff like that. And the master notes uh, using what we call chain logs actually provides that and it signs the block and that means once the block is confirmed there will not be any uh, you know the block cannot be reorganized or changed so you get what we call instant block finality so that's really important and that also means that if you were to attack our chain right you you not only need to take over 51 percent of the mining power you also need to compromise about 50 percent of the master nodes as well to actually manage to disable the system or control the network and that also greatly greatly increases the cost can you imagine that not just you have to rent the hash rate or get the hardware to attack it you now actually have to buy Firo to host this master nodes and now when you attack the coin the, the Firo that you bought to attack is also worth less right so it aligns the kind of like the game mechanics to make sure that it is more likely to be unprofitable to attack Firo so we think that you know this greatly greatly increases the, the, the cost of attack on Firo and it makes it secure and also a lot more usable uh, transactions also with our recently deployed uh, technology called Instant Send also allows transactions to be confirmed within a couple of seconds without even needing the, uh, to wait for block confirmation. And what that means for face-to-face -face transactions, you know, you're not going to be waiting there for five minutes or several minutes for X number of confirmations. Within a few seconds, I can say, yep, okay, that transaction is not going to be, is already irreversible and I can walk off. And we think that's a very big, uh, you know, improvement in user experience when we want to be a usable currency. So I hope that explains why, uh, what the role of Feroz Masternodes are in our network.